Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Tech Talk Tuesday, where we talk tech on a Tuesday. This one isn't basically, it's basically not really tech, or it doesn't fall into that category, but I wanted to go over basically if Disney Plus is really worth it for the consumers, right? Out there, the people that want to buy this, who are interested in it, and basically like whether or not they should. So this just comes with a no-brainer. Short answer is if you have kids, yes. If you're a huge Disney fan, yes. And well, that's a no-brainer because most Disney movies, basically all Disney movies, appeal to the younger audience. So yeah, if you have younger kids, you need to basically want to show them something without having to spend $9 on Netflix. Because right now, um, Disney Plus will only be $6.99 a month. But if you buy the yearly plan, which is $70, you will save more money than buying it monthly. Now, this isn't to say the prices will stay the same because Netflix has increased their prices over the past few years and I can see Disney doing the same in the future. They just want to get people on it. And so in the future, when they raise the prices, it wouldn't be that bad because they already have a lot of people on it. Now, the whole problem that people are wondering is the diversity of content on Disney+. Plus. There's a bunch of like companies that fall under Disney nowadays and a lot of people are wondering, well, should I get it? Am I that much of a Marvel fan? Am I that much of a Star Wars fan? Or do I love the Disney movies that much to spend $6 a month on TV shows? Now, $6, $7 basically is not a lot. If you think about it, you're actually getting a lot for what you're paying for. And that's one of the big things that I think is what Disney has going for them. They have a really good, like, they're pulling people in with their low prices, which is really good because you do get a lot of shows and a lot of episodes to start binge watching and stuff like that for a cheaper price than you would have for Hulu and Netflix and stuff like that. Now, speaking of Hulu, people and there's like basically skepticism going around that maybe in the future Hulu and Disney Plus will create a bundle because they sort of fall under the same category. And there's been talk about basically them collaborating and making like a bundle. So for example, one of the bundles out right now it, for college students is you have Spotify, Hulu, I think uh, HBO Now, and Amazon Prime, I, I believe. And it's like $5 a month, crazy deal, amazing. Now, if they could do a deal or a bundle with Hulu, Disney Plus, and keep like the price low to get in all those people just like buy our product, you know, then that would be crazy good for them and it could actually benefit them. Now, there are some downsides to this because basically it's just Disney shows. You gotta, you have to keep that in mind. They are creating new shows, but for now, it's more just everything they've made already into one platform. Now, some people are like, well, that's great. Well, it's good if you really, if you're really a Disney fan, like I said in the beginning, for an answer, if you're a big Disney fan, then yes, this is great for you, go buy it. If you have a bunch of kids, and the kids love Disney movies, they love Star Wars, Marvel, you know, and you have Endgame, Infinity War, all those movies, then this is obviously going to be more pertaining to them than it is to someone who just likes to watch TV shows or anything like that. Then Disney Plus might not be specifically for the audience that just wants to watch a, bu a wide variety of, dis of shows, not just Disney movies or movies that fall under the Disney company. And now I know people probably won't like this because of the fact that it's just Disney movies, but I mean, it's in the name, like, come on. They're adding shows, like I said before, I'm kind of repeating myself here, but I just want to reinstate that what they start off with now is not what they're going to end up with in the future. Now, like Netflix creates their Netflix originals, well, Disney will be creating their own, basically, Disney originals on Disney+. Plus. So only people that have that subscription service can watch those shows. Um, for example, the new Star Wars show that's coming out exclusively on Disney+, Plus looks really cool. And I wouldn't mind wanting to watch that, but I don't have money to buy it myself. So it's just pros and cons. It goes back and forth. And at the end of the day, it is a great bang for your buck if you're really into Disney movies, you have a lot of kids, the kids like movies, the kids like Disney, if you like Disney, you want to just revisit 
your old favorite Disney movies online without having to like go to some like sketchy website to watch them, then this would probably be your best bet. I do really like what Disney's doing with this and I think it can work out very well in their favor and I can't wait to see what more shows they implement into the, into the streaming service that they have going on, if they're going to create any more Disney originals for them and just basically what they will do in the future with this platform that they're creating and so far so good in my opinion i think it looks really good promising i can't wait to see what they do in the future anyways that's it for me i hope you guys enjoyed this tech talk tuesday i know it's a bit short but i've been struggling with some classes recently in college so hope you guys will understand this is just my opinion on disney plus i think it's a really good platform and at the end, end of the day it just pertains towards what you want. Do you want a lot of Disney movies? Do you have kids that want Disney movies? Then this would be great for you. Anyways, that's it for me. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.